Now, it is a bittersweet development as KTN News journalist Joy Doreen Bira is released from police custody. Joy has, however, been charged with abetting terrorism. She's safe. I have talked to the operational commanders and the, they are right now processing a bond, a police bond, because I don't think she, she can only be told to go because uh, they have uh, a concern. Just to tell them what she was doing and uh, once they are satisfied, she will be free and that will not take more than an hour. Words that gave hope to friends, family and colleagues of Joy Doreen Bira who had spent the night at Kasese police station having been arrested at 7 p.m. yesterday. But as fate would have it, Bira would be charged for following her journalistic instincts into an area police say had been cordoned off. She was arrested uh, because I think she uh, closed uh, the red lines, you know, in an operations, there are areas that are restricted. And the media was informed to keep away from those areas. I think she uh, did not uh, be, uh, mind much about that. The chaos KTN's Joy Doreen Biro was trying to document started on Sunday when a group of militants attacked a local police post. A manhunt then ensued, leading police to the local Renzururu King Charles Mumbera's palace. They were pursued by security forces. And when they were pursued, they entered the palace. Uh -huh. You get it? What happened? When they entered Paris, the forces remained there. Uh -huh. And now what did they say? They said, no, we can't go beyond this boundary. Let's go into negotiations. Uh -huh. You get it? That's where the protracted negotiation started. Reports further indicate security forces stormed the king's palace amid claims he was harboring said militants, accusations he has denied. Joy, her fiancé and three other people were arrested from her uncle's palace and held at the Kasese police station. Images of Bira barefoot at the station, a definite anti-climax to what was supposed to be a celebratory weekend, have sparked social media outrage, with many calling for her immediate release. Prior to the arrest, Joy put up this social media post telling of heavy gun battle between the police and royal guards that lasted at least two hours. She also posted on the burning of the palace and the deaths. In an official statement, the Standard Media Group has expressed grave concern at the arrest and prosecution in Uganda of its Nairobi-based news presenter Joy Doreen Bira on allegations of abating terrorism. It is now calling on the Ugandan authorities to withdraw the charges and terminate the case. Trix Ingado, KTN News, Nairobi.